Well, tonight, bus lines are on the brink of financial collapse with the current restrictions on travel in California and across the rest of the country. Amador County or Amador Stage Lines is owned, uh, operated locally, and they are asking for more federal funding now to help them survive. That's right. CBS 13's Ryan Hill is live in Sacramento with the business that's been forced to hit the brakes. Ryan? Yeah, that's right. This company's been around for more than a century. Coronavirus is making 2020 a year they would love to put in their rearview mirror. The fleet of buses at Amador Stage Line sit empty, unused, and locked up as the coronavirus has forced a near ban on the travel business. The whole industry, over 3,000 bus companies in the United States, basically just shut down. William Allen is the owner of the Sacramento-based bus company. Allen sent one of his empty buses on a trip to Washington, D.C. last week in an effort to help save the industry. For some reason, the bus industry typically gets uh, kind of the last you know, piece of bread, and so that's a problem for us. So we're trying to have awareness. This was all about awareness to the Congress. Amador Stage Lines joined dozens of other bus companies driving to the nation's capital in a show of solidarity and to ask for a similar COVID-19 financial aid that the airline industry received. To see 1,008 buses in D.C. was absolutely amazing. There was 13.2 miles straight of buses um, down the expressway in, in Washington. Allen's daughter Lisa was on board for the cross-country trip through countless towns and cities, all in an effort to get lawmakers on board to help. People came together for this one cause, and if everybody can come together for that, um, we hope that the people that are making the decisions can look at that and see how important our industry is and what we can do as if we you know work together i would say half of our industry will go nationwide I, I can't see a lot of survival rate without some help the sacramento company with roots as old as california itself hopes rolling into washington will result in a new aid package rolling out for them and people just don't realize how critical this industry is and how essential it is and once that word gets out um, it puts a whole new light on when they see a bus go down a road. Alan tells me that Amador Stage Lines did receive some uh, PPE funding that will last until June 20th, but he says in reality that they don't have any new money coming in, so the company is essentially using that money to tell people to stay home.